Bhopal currently, and uh, as you all know, there we've just gone through a cyclone uh, in western uh, western Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Gujarat, and I was right in the middle of it, so it's quite cold here. So still a warm welcome to all of you. Okay, so the topic today I've chosen is about importance of process. When I say process, I'm going to take you through about what I exactly mean by process and how it is supportive and it is a must for business scalability. Honestly, um, I had very little time to prepare. So I have whatever I have prepared is um, uh, it is my own thoughts and my base, which is based on my own experiences. Um, uh, as uh, Priyanka mentioned, we I run an organization called Talent Resources, which is typically an HR and a recruitment firm. So uh, from uh, in this business, I've got an opportunity to serve various clients of ours. And in that, whatever experience I have gained, okay, in the difficulties they were facing, challenging the challenges they were facing in scaling up their business, and what were the bottlenecks, that is what I'm going to share with all of you. So or mostly it is going to be a share and learn session. I'm sure each one of us in this room has their own set of experiences. Hence, I call it a share and learn. I would want it to be as interactive a session as possible so that, you know, we all learn. So I'm also going to, you know, look forward to your comments, suggestions, your inputs um, and questions so that it helps me also um, uh, learn more from, than what I have already uh, experienced so far. So let me let me just give you a background of uh, you know what I'm going to talk about. So it so happened once um, you know a client approached us and this company. I'm going to start with the story because I'm sure all of us learn to uh, I mean love to listen to stories. So let me tell you the story. So this client approached us and uh, they were a 25 year old company. They were running a business of uh, they were uh, they were into projects. Okay. They used to do automation projects. And um, this company had an employee strength of around 30 people. And um, they were facing challenges. Okay. And they called me and, and uh, I, I work in the field of HR, as you know. So um, I thought that it could be anything, something to do with HR. And of course it was. So the problem, what they had called me was, what they thought the problem was something for which they hired me. They took my services. And I was, um, I was associated uh, with them for a year to provide the solution to their problem. <clears throat> However, at the end of the year, we realized that the problem, that problem was there, but the root cause of that problem was elsewhere. And when we arrived at the solution, that was the eye opener for the business owners, right? That is where this topic comes from, the importance of process. So despite them being 25 years old in the market, they were not too much of a follower of processes because of which they were struggling time and again, and they were not able to reach to the next level, which any other company, maybe even a lesser uh, years old company than them had reached a certain level. So they were very much aware, but they didn't know where the problem lies, right? So as I go through my presentation, I'm going to share the same company's uh, examples because they are very interesting because uh, we all, uh, you know, know this still when we end up doing it, we realize, oh, you know, Knowingly, how did we end up doing a mistake like this? And if, if you are going ahead and implementing something in the organization, and if it does not, is not well received or is not well understood by the other side in your team, then what is the end result? You know, how the whole thing can go um, haywire and it will not give you the desired results. Okay. So let me start with my presentation. My screen can be seen, right, by everybody. So let me uh, 
uh, tell you how 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 I made it up is my my point here is who needs you know what is the importance of a process and what type of a company should look at a process. So many of us might might think you know only bigger organizations sort of once you reach a certain level you need a process. But sorry friends, a process is a must must right from the time you decide to start any business whatsoever. So I have started the type of companies which need a process or uh, uh, you know it will help them is a startup, mid sized company, a large enterprise. Of course, large enterprises we all know. We give examples that okay, Ford uh, has done this and Amazon does this and they have a set process and blah. We all know that. But how we need to? I am I'm talking about how what is the process and how it should be implemented even by a tiny organization. and what is the importance and how it can benefit the organization and then the business owner you know that is what i am going to highlight today so the need of process is there in all okay what is process let us first understand this okay what is process <clears throat> process is process is nothing but it's a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end result particular end okay there's another definition a process is a sequence of activities a process is a sequence of activities aimed at generating added value by transforming an input into an output which can in turn be the input of another process all the activities within an organization from buying raw materials to handling a claim can and should be considered as, as process okay typically if i was to give you an example of a manufacturing process we will all understand that very easily isn't it because we uh, at some point or the other all of us i don't know i'm i'm assuming but if you've been to a shop floor you will see that there are certain things that are norms which are followed there you need to make an entry and then you need to uh, you know uh, 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 you you see certain log books uh, put up on the wall or uh, there are certain uh, you know things like daily targets etc which are there <clears throat> so these are very loud and clear on a shop floor however friends today i'm going to introduce to you and also tell i mean share my experience uh, as to how a simple thing i i run a recruitment business so how important a process is even to my business yeah so if i follow that process i can easily scale my operation from maybe 5 people today to 50 people tomorrow because i would have then gone step by step in ensuring that the way i do the methodology i use is robust it is giving me the desired result uh, can we all have uh, mute ourselves please <clears throat> so i have taken something uh, this you know i have taken why because this is the foundation of where the processes came up from see we all look up to only one country and uh, or maybe uh, uh, some more countries outside india and that is us and the europe so uh, us i really really appreciate and respect them for one thing you give them any product or a service they beautifully convert it into a process and their processes you know you must have seen various organizations i'll name a few bni business network india you know then there is um, uh, they they have such uh, coaching coaching is uh, something that they talk of how they impart coaching and how they monitor coaching how icf works and etc so you know give them anything and they convert it into a process and how it makes how they make it workable is because they not only just design a beautiful process around it they also implement so today i'm also going to touch upon the i'm going to touch upon both these things that how when should you design what you should design and how you should ensure that you follow it see i have seen all types of organizations i have appreciated some organizations because i was uh, you know i realized that what treatment i got was the end result of a process that the company followed and then i immediately see observation is the first part amongst all of us isn't it so that is why i said that <clears throat> we we do it but if we do it halfway it will not give us desired results hence i am stressing on the part that designing a process implementing the process both are equally important not having a process is a 
different story. But once you have a process, then what all you need to have. So how did it begin? So at the beginning of the 20th century, North American business owners, Frederick Winslow Taylor, Frederick Trail Taylor and Henry Ford, they introduced this. Yes. And this is there in all the books. If you read management theories and books, you will find them in various PPCs and, you know, how production and how shop floor management way back we are talking about. Uh, it is mentioned also, 80s, etc. How they uh, uh, went about and, you know, they did mass production and how did they go about they giving, you know, consistent quality results. Yeah. So, however, process-based management took off in the 80s. In 87, it became one of the eight principles of ISO 9001 quality management standard. A growing number of companies have implemented this system to document what they do. Listen to this. This is very interesting. They document what they do and do what they document. Isn't it very beautiful? So I don't know if we all believe, you know, when I say we all, maybe we as one person, me <clears throat> in an organization, I'm doing it. But people like me are more in, in an organization. And if all of them, all of them, don't follow this, then it is not process. It is person dependent because I believe in doing my work in a certain way. So I'm doing it. So my results will be different than my colleagues. So there is going to be a gap creation. That is the beauty of a process that it is not person dependent. It is independent of anybody who does that work. So that is what they're saying. Document what they do and do what, you, what they document. An increasing number of companies in Spain and the rest of the world have obtained ISO 9000 certifications or implemented process-based management. Here, however, I'm referring to various business processes because I know we are talking to various entrepreneurs who are still at a small level. So maybe such big fundas will not be, you know, uh, probably they're not, uh, they're not ideally matched to their situation, but the concept is the same. Even if they are small today, they've just started. It's the thinking process. It is the way of doing business. It's something they need to start with. This is what I'm talking of. And hence, I'm extrapolating it not just to production or manufacturing or any quality measure or anything. I'm extrapolating it to all the functions of a company. Typically, I, uh, you know, there are eight functions in a company to manage any company. So there is production, there is sales, there is marketing, there is finance, there is HR, there is operations, there is support like admin, etc. So these are typically for any organization, materials management and purchase, etc. Et so like this, there are eight departments or functions. So I'm referring to process management and implementation in all. Yeah, then it will take time. I understand people will come up and tell you that you know, I went with the process, I delegated work to that person, but he didn't do his job properly. He didn't. But here, the process is not to be blamed. Implementation, proper implementation, which is also person dependent, leadership dependent, business owner driven, is to be blamed. Honestly. So how, how much of trust and faith you have in the process as a business owner is the first key important point. So this is what happens. Uh, it takes time, of course. It takes time. I am not denying that. But the end result is guaranteed. And that is systematic and consistent results which drive growth eventually. And this company, I told you, I'll give you an example of this, uh, you know, uh, client of mine. So they, they themselves told me, you know, what used to happen? They were 25 years old. And there was another company in the same business, which was 20 years old. And they said, I, the, the owners used to tell me, ma'am, I really, we really don't know how, but all our employees, after working with us for a couple of years, getting trained with us, they go and join that company. Yeah. So imagine they knew that that company, even though years of experience wise, it was lesser, but it had grown to a bigger level. Of course, they, these people were trying to get business from out of India. They were doing only domestic business that other company had reached to global level, etc. And hence, there were a lot of employees who were going there. But that's not the point. The point is, if they desire to go there, then they should know the roadmap. That's all. If you don't want to go, then we are not talking about it. But if you want to scale up your business, you want to go there, then you must have a roadmap. You must know how it is done. 
So we are discussing about that. So what are the challenges typically? I mean, I have heard it. I, I do recruitments. So I hear it every now and then from business owners. If I'm talking to a SME client, of course, MNCs have their different set of challenges. But typically what the SME sector clients, when they give me a position to recruit, what they tell me is that, ma'am, uh, this person, this position, there was a person with us. He was there with us for a good three years. We trained him, did everything. And we got him to a certain level and now he's going to a bigger organization. So again, we are back to square one. We don't know how to manage and et cetera, et cetera. So this, was one, this is one of the challenges that these people face. Now I've written down a few, let us see. So challenges of person dependency, person dependent management is what I have written. So one is if, like I said, I am very good in my work, I am efficient. So my delivery will be good. But my colleague who's not so good in their own, then the delivery will not be so good. So if I am delivering my uh, target on the same day, my colleague may deliver the next day. And if I have a better hit ratio, I am giving bang on, that person may not. So that is what I'm trying to say here is that if the process is not being followed, you are, we are both left to our own ways of deliver, uh, you know, doing the work and delivering, then this is the end result, inconsistent consistency in deliveries in terms of time and quality both one has to micromanage isn't it the business owner's time will be always sucked up by the team below him it will always happen because those people will not know the business owner has a different mindset he is definitely uh, uh, is running a show so he he knows the he has the broader idea he has the bigger vision but the person who's doing that job may not have that and if you have not given him the complete way of functioning, process is nothing but way of functioning. Ye invoice aya, isko yahan enter karo, iska ye, 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 aise hona chahiye, vagera, vagera. Iska ye timeline hoga, ye vendor se baat karna, ye sab written down hona chahiye. Yeah, it is well trained. Process has to be followed and process only should be checked. Agar, if you find a mistake in the person's work, you have to again trace it back to if he followed the process or not. If you don't do that and you keep on blaming the person, then you are not implementing the process. So micromanagement will take up 80% uh, of your time frames. So I'm talking of the business owners. <clears throat> this is the biggest problem because employees are very sharp. They're very smart. The moment they realize that they have got trained, they've understood what is to be delivered and the business owner or the boss is dependent on him, then they start throwing their tantrums. They say, you give us this much hike, we, we want leave at this time. If you don't give, then we have offers from outside, etc. So retention becomes the biggest issue. But as a part of the process, if you have trained two to three people for the same job, then they stay very much because they know that the other person is not dependent on only their work and they better perform so that they are in line with what is required, expected of them. Yes, there is another thing. If you don't, if you make it person, I've seen this, you know, many of these small time business owners, when they have not yet become big, the people who are directly reporting to them, they are the biggest bottleneck. The business owner does get trained at various, uh, you know, maybe uh, by his, get, um, he gets trained from various, uh, this thing, he gets exposure, he meets other, other business owners, et cetera, et cetera. But this person who's reporting and is doing all the work for him, he does not get that exposure and he understands all the, um, you know, his behavior patterns of the business owner and everything. And that becomes the biggest bottleneck. And he throws his weight around, he throws tantrums because of this one reason that, the business owner is dependent on this person's complete experience, exposure and knowledge with him. Not on the process. Productivity impact, errors and losses. This happens. Wo wala jo worker aaya tha na, wo hi achha, wo bhaiya jo hai na, wo bhaat achha kaam karte hai. Aaj wo chutti pe te, is liye itne saare galti ho. I've heard this. <laughs> Delay in meeting deadlines. Quality, I mentioned growth. So these are typically person dependent. And I am not saying this. Business owners, you are not saying that we are not big enough. No, 
not about bada and chota i give i'm i'm i have an example in 25 years it's not a you know small period of time but they never invested their own their you know they never thought they never had the vision they never invested in the process and hence people became very big in the organizations they used to throw their weight around on the business owners yeah clients unke haath mein aa gaye the aap sochiye wo kehta tha main aaj nahi aa raha hu to client effect ho jata tha so this is what i'm talking of course independence no not done train train everybody in the organization make it open doesn't doesn't matter so now I, i'll take you through where to begin yeah so it begins from the leadership team either the business owners or their hr if they have an hr then it starts from here how do you begin installing i'm using the word installing whatever or introducing process in an organization that's what i've talked about so first and foremost is you must have an organization chart in place people don't have it yeah i'm not joking but an org chart is necessary you must know that in the first year these are the departments you will have these are the positions people will take in these departments even if it is just two people in the company even then he must have this organization chart that after one year this is what he will and you know this is what is the leadership all about that they have a vision they can see and unless they see they will not be able to manifest simple so design an organization chart what is the part of the organization chart so <clears throat> i have given two scenarios if the company is a new company starting so they must have an org chart if it is already an old one like my client company i'm talking of 25 years so they had an org chart so there you but that org chart you know when they showed me that org chart that was they said humko yaad bhi nahi humne kab banaya tha to 15 20 years old matlab wo company ka level kya tha tab over a period of time they had increased definitely in volume in number of people so they never revisited the talk chart so this is why i have said that if the org chart is already made but was made some time back then it must be reviewed regularly and altered based on the growing or changing needs of the organization see i am not saying that everything that you think of will happen some things work out some don't so it's okay but you need to revisit that organization chart the role which is mentioned should have a well defined job description with well defined kra key result areas the person is there in that role or not this is process friends it should be defined and then you must have the person in fitting in that jd and he must deliver as per the kra right okay my point is an organization like my client my best friend they were 25 years old so what did i do i did a competency mapping that the people who were already in the organization and good for 5 years 10 years etc then i mapped kya hona chahiye aur unke paas kya hai that is my next point so gap analysis is what i did of the competency to be done between what is desired आज ये सिनेरियो में हमको कंपनी कैसे चलानी है उसमें क्या क्या होना चाहिए व्हाट इज डिजायर्ड द बिजनेस लीडर नोज ना द ओनर नोज सो व्हाट इज डिजायर्ड इन द रिसोर्स क्या होना चाहिए एंड उसमें क्या है एंड वेयर व्हाट इज देयर इन द ऑलरेडी ऑन बोर्डेड रिसोर्स जो ऑलरेडी आपके साथ काम कर रहा है उसमें क्या है और क्या नहीं है वॉट इज द गैप तो वो गैप एनालिसिस करिए और वो फिल करिए गैप को बाई प्रोवाइडिंग एम ट्रेनिंग अब हमने क्या किया इसमें वेन आई एंटर्ड एंड आई सो ऑल ऑफ दिस आई मेड इट वेरी क्लियर टू द टीम आई सेड लुक यू हैव बीन असाइन दिस रोल हाउ एवर वेन आई टॉक टू यू एंड वेन आई यू नो आई असेस्ट योर प्रोफाइल आई रियलाइज दैट योर कॉम्पिटेंस डज नॉट लाइ इन दिस रोल येस इट वॉज वन ऑफ देयर सीनियर मोस्ट पर्सन दैट वॉज द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इन दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन he was just throwing his weight around he was not doing what he was supposed to do and he was doing something which the organization really didn't want him to do what the organization wanted him to do he was not doing and he was you know claiming that he held on to that position and he said i am doing everything so he was bossing up so we immediately defined that look we have we don't have this role which you are doing we have this role a role and b role and we very smartly designed those two roles because we knew what he was good at and we wanted him to choose what so we designed the roles very smartly here i'm talking of an extreme case because this person was 
you know, creating issues in the organization. But I'm not saying that every time it may happen, may not happen, but it can be worked around is all I'm saying. So this is very important that you, the business owner should know what that person is supposed to do, right? And <clears throat> should be designed and should be communicated to that person. That is why I said JDs and KRAs. KRAs, why? Because that is directly connecting to his appraisal, to his annual increment. So he should be told. Companies make this mistake. They don't tell them. And then eventually the process is not followed. So employees are dissatisfied and then attrition happens, etc. So training is to be provided. If this exercise is being done for the first time, then the top management must handhold the HODs. Yes, head of the departments and ensure they understand the process correctly. So what I mean here is that, see, for the business owner, there will be some direct reports, right? So these direct reportees could be these HODs, like a production head, materials and uh, sub purchase and materials management head, finance head, sales head, all these could be. It is possible that one person is handling two, three roles. I'm not... <clears throat> getting into that, but they are his direct reports. There has to be a attunement between the two people, the boss and the subordinate. Okay, this is very important. So once the process is designed, see, I'll, I'll give another uh, client of mine, uh, you know, their example. They invited me to design their complete performance management system. And again, the same thing was missing. They were following a process, but they were not aware so I've just made them aware. I put that process, I uh, translated that process in their KRA. That's all I did. And they were so happy because till that time, the employees used to think, you know what? That every year, jo management ki ichha hoti hai, unka achha mood hai, to achha increment ho jata hai, achha mood nahi hai, to achha increment nahi hai. You will not believe perception management. This was the thing. What did I do? When I entered, I, sa I sat down with their employees. I, with the permission of the management. And I said, let us discuss what work you do throughout the year. With their consent, with their help, I designed their KRA sheet. Okay. KRA is nothing but out of the whole job that you do, what are the measurable criteria which drive results, which, re which is required to achieve the go organization goal. So in the KRA sheet, one side is the organization goals and the second side is the employee goals and they both have to be in sync aligned so if this communication is not done in a proper manner it results in perception so this is what i'm talking about here so there has to be not only it should be done it should be communicated also delegation is a must so many a times i have seen this business owners say and they're crying and they love it they enjoy that tripping. I said, but if you don't delegate, you will not grow, right? You are only one. One person has eight hours, max to max 10 hours. So if you have four people, you have 40 hours. How can one person do 40 hours of work? So how do you delegate? You can't mindlessly delegate. You need the help of these documents, which is JDs and KRAs, so that he understands. And there will be. That's why I said it takes time because attunement of two people takes time. Two and more, more than two, of course. Mutual understanding, mutually understanding the process with its inputs, processes, and outputs. So this, it, it is a mutual understanding and agreement. Most important is agreement. So in that other organization that I talked about, when I designed the KRA with their help, they had a complete buy-in. You will not believe that organization. I did this work with them in 2015. Till date, they have never had an issue with their increments and attritions. Even if there were less increments, employees were very happy because they felt that management ne humko trust kiya, humko apna samaj kar process mein involve kiya, par ham nahi apna process design kiya. Haan, agar ham se nahi hua, to wo pehle hi jaake khud ho ke bolte ki, haan, ham nahi, nahi, ham ye nahi kar paaye sir. To jab wo khud hi bolte hain, to unko pata hota hai ki humko utna increment nahi milega, ham se galtiyan hui hain, humne nahi follow kiya. So that is the kind of level of buy-in I am talking about, which can be created. A close monitoring 
Yeah, because anything which is new, which you're installing either first time, setting up first time, or you're uh, even if it's an old company and you're introducing, if there's a change management, you need to monitor. And no blame game here. I'm not talking from an expectation of blaming each other, but to understand each other better. Expectation mismatch ni hona chahiye. So a close monitoring by way of what is the way of monitoring? Reporting matrix. That has to be necessarily defined, designed, and implemented, and review meetings to be done initially for all to understand the importance and correctness of the process. I first three months, every month we did a review to ensure that what we designed, what we done, 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 जो रिजल्ट जो बॉटलनेक्स होते हैं वो ये होता है कि जो मैनेजमेंट को रिजल्ट्स चाहिए ग्रोथ से रिलेटेड अचीवमेंट से वो नहीं आते हैं तब ये प्रॉब्लम्स शुरू होती हैं तो उसको वो आना चाहिए ना दैट इज द पर्पस सो वो हुआ क्या सो वंस दैट इज डन आई थिंक इट इज सक्सेस एंड हाउ डू यू डू दैट सो एफएमईए वर्क्स यू नो व्हाट इज एफएमईए इट इज फेलियर मोड इवैल्यूएशन एंड एनालिसिस it's a good idea to assess the accuracy and reliability of the process. So, kaha kaha wo fail hui ho sakti hai, uska aap assessment kare, then it works. So, just a good design of the process is not enough, friends. You may feel the ego booster, yes, very nice, but unless it gives the desired results from all the parties, all the stakeholders. <clears throat> So ensuring its implementation is of utmost importance and a collective responsibility is, is ensured. It should be. That is the ideal way. And that gives a sense of belongingness in the team. A, bond, a bonding is developed in the organization and works. So another part of process, um, like I said, uh, for that organization, I never thought that this will be a part of my work. I had gone with a different, they had hired me for some HR uh, work. And I realized that there was no reporting matrix, no reporting format. I mean, reporting was there, but not properly done in that organization. So there were a lot of learnings for me. I did the work very successfully and the organization uh, stabilized and grew after that. So here is some of the learnings. So reporting structures. You know, when I went, this is very interesting. So when I went there, I told you it's a projects organization. So <clears throat> this company had two offices, one office where the management used to sit and they had their other uh, uh, finance and uh, sales support functions, etc. And the other office had all the project boys sitting. I'm using the word boys because they were all youngsters. They were freshers up to two years, five years experience. So I uh, generally ask them, I said, when you go and do a project, whether it is technical support, whether it's a new installation, et cetera, et cetera, what are the various reports you follow? I mean, you write and you, and they showed me all the reports and believe me, I was aghast to see their reports. My God, you know, their report, report, unki galti nahi thi, boys ki galti nahi thi, unko jo format diya gaya tha, wo usme bhar rahe the. Format kya tha? Report ka? उसमें उनका नाम था उनका क्लाइंट नेम कहा उन्होंने विजिट किया डेट टाइम इन टाइम आउट टाइम वो सब था उसके बाद पूरा एक बड़ा सा ब्लैंक पे उसमें नीचे पेज था नीचे उनके साइन थे एंड दे वर टू राइट व्हाट हैपेंड व्हेन दे वेंट यू विल नॉट बिलीव सम पीपल रोड वन लाइन आई वेंट देयर फिनिश द टास्क केम बैक अनदर पर्सन उसने मूवी का स्टोरी लिख मारा उसमें मैं यहां गया फिर ये हुआ मुझे ऑटो नहीं मिला फिर ये मैं बस में चढ़ा हां I was shocked. I said, you and when, how often do you write these reports? They said, ma'am, we have daily report, so we have our salary cut. I said, who is report? Tell me. I said, we don't know, ma'am. That is what they were laughing about. I said, but who are you submitting these reports to? You know, who, whose name they took? Director. And how many of them were there? 20. Now you tell me, a director of a company will read these subjective reports 20 numbers per day when i went to the other office i didn't say anything i just asked him i said aapka daily report ka system kya hai he said ma'am itne reports hai padu kab <laughs> so now how are you getting it they only design but it was a faulty design and they were only suffering phir unhone mujhe clear hoke bola ki ma'am main ye company chalata hu i am the owner i am the director matlab the role he was playing a ceo director मुझे मालूम ही नहीं मेरी कंपनी में क्या हो रहा है और मैं कैसे पता करूं 
मैं किसी को भी फोन उठा के पूछता हूँ तो वो तो कहानियां शुरू कर देता है बताना मेरे को मैं सर वही आपने मांगा है तो कहानियां ही मिलेंगी आपको आपने फॉर्मेट ही ऐसा दिया है वो शोले मूवी का पूरा स्टोरी सुनाएगा आपको बोला एक्सैक्टली exactly यही करता है वो और वो मुझे मुद्दे की बात बताता ही नहीं मैंने कहा ऑब्वियसली सो योर रिपोर्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर इज रिपोर्टिंग फॉर्मेट सॉरी इज नॉट करेक्ट एंड देन ही वॉज एन एक्सेलेंट गाय वेन इट केम टू एक्सेल एंड फॉर्मुलेज एक्सेट्रा So I actually did nothing. I just gave him the idea as to how it was to be designed. He only did it. He put in all the formulas, and what a beautiful report came out at the end of you know three months or six months it took us to design. So this is the importance of. But then at the end of that three or six months, he used to get the report, which used to which used to make him see. and here what is going on in his organization see my point is you, we all know big large organizations their ceos and mds and they sit in one location or maybe even remotely they, they travel globally they don't meet even all the they don't even know but still they are able to manage so how because of these reports right so there is a system there is a structure this is how it is done so there are there is lot of science that goes in it but that is the importance of it so reporting structures formats matrices analysis objective reporting etc are the eyes and ears of the leadership or the business owner right companies get stuck because of lack of proper reporting structures now my when i say structure what i mean by that so remember i told you about the org charts there are hods now below the hods there has to be see all all the uh, hr i mean any hr of the organization you will ask they will show you there is a pyramid structure isn't it so there is a leadership and then there is mid level and then there is so this cascading reporting structure is necessary so the junior most person whatever he will report the output of that report will become the input of the mid level guy and the output of the mid level guy will become the input of the senior most guy that's how the report have to be designed yeah so companies get stuck because of lack of proper reporting structures hierarchy hierarchy is only not there you know all 10 people reporting to md no it doesn't work that way 10 as in one department all 10 people reporting no there has to be a hierarchy objective rather than subjective reports like i told you they should not they should not be uh, required they, what was the end what was required what was the objective of that report did he attend did he finish that there is a time duration to you know what was the technical glitch and how much time it took simple no that is what the uh, uh, director wanted so i said wohi mango na unse aap un, unko kya pata kya likhna hai when you have left the page blank you have not given them any direction and only capture data which you can process unnecessary data ko collect mat kariye what will you do with it you only add to the clutter and it will not give you any clarity long and very frequent reporting by leadership is also a cause of not getting the to that matlab wo din raat aapko kuch kar hi nahi pata hai aapko phone kare aap leader aap business owner hain ya aap director hain wo aapko phone karke puchhega main ye bhej do document courier kar do itna tak maine dekha hai but nahi hona chahiye so that is delegation na usko authority dijiye usko ye dete nahi hai bolte hain khali but usko power authority kuch nahi dete hain तो वो करेंगे तो वो ओनरशिप नहीं लेता काम की फिर बिजनेस ओनर्स आते हैं हमारे पास यही बोल के दे डोंट टेक ओनरशिप दे डोंट टेक ओनरशिप बिकॉज यू डोंट लेट देम टेक डिसीजन बोलते वो डिसीजन लेकर गलत हो गया मैं गलत हो गया तो होने दो थोड़ा तो आपको कंट्रोल उसको देना पड़ेगा ना तभी तो वो कर पाएगा और तभी तो वो सीखेगा सो so, उतना आप वो क्रिटिकल मैटर्स आप अपने हाथ में रख लो कुछ तो एरिया में उसको दो देर आर सो मेनी वेज ऑफ डूइंग दिस राइट लीडरशिप शुड हैव अ विजन and also the road map not just vision road map to achieve it <coughs> and there are various softwares aapko ye kuch main jo bata rahi hu ye karne mein koi badi baat nahi hai aapko ye pata hona chahiye ki karna kya hai fir aapko sab kuch milta hai market mein and training on these matters for the business owners leadership is a must because they have to stay ahead of their own employees and run their company and they have to be abreast with the latest now business goal scalability now this is what i told you about how to set up your complete system and now how do you scale it up because that was the purpose right why did we do this one we need consistent desired uh, uh, results and then if you have to scale up the operations it should become easy 
So once the processes and systems are set, then to scale it up becomes relatively easy. Any organization is a collective team and it's wisdom which the business owner must lead. So business owner ko ye samajna chahiye ki ground level pe jo kaam kar raha hai, usko kuch cheezon ke baare mein pata hai. Which the business owner is not required to know at the day-to-day -day level, but he is required to know. So he must, his organization, his structure, his processes should be such that wo valuable information us tak paunchni chahi. Uske processes bottleneck nahi banne chahi hai. They should be conducive. They should motivate people and they should allow people to do their best where they are. So it's a collective team and it's wisdom should be got together and enhanced. That should be the outlook of a business owner. An ideal combination of IQ and EQ is a must in the business owner. IQ to hoti hi hai, but EQ is something that takes him bigger. You look at all the people who have achieved big, they have very, very high, they're very high on EQs, very, very high. So that is the winning formula. You understand people, that is important. Any organization will achieve a constant growth if the following processes are taken care of. What are the different areas? I told you there are eight, but I have named, you know, a very important critical ones. So pro process for your product or service, whatever you are manufacturing or delivering. It's manufacturing, quality, delivery price. You must have a process around it. Sales and marketing. Very difficult. Trust me. Jo banda, jo owner, business owner, agar technically aligned hai, uska po product hai, usko wo jada achche se aata hai karna, wo bichara samaj hi nahi pata sales wala kaise uska ullu bana hai. So it's a process again. So there also I have helped clients to understand uh, how you need to manage your sales stuff. Yeah. This answer also comes from your JDs and KRAs, sales and marketing. Process for people is most important then. Each employee who joins the organization is looking at their own career growth, isn't it? They want to achieve that and align that goal with the company's goal. Yeah. Company will see what we will do. The company will grow, you will also grow. No. What employee do you want? Ask them. And if you are aligned with your goal, you will not leave them alone. But if you are on your own, you will leave the organization's commitment and targets, then you will leave them alone. That's exactly what is a time and again experience we've had that people leave organizations. It is true. They leave their managers. Yes. And they don't see that growth, which they want for themselves in that organization. Process for proactive communication within the organization is a must, must friends to be taken care by the business owner. Usko sab pata hota hai. Wo ye nahi samajh pata ki usko kab batana hai sab ko. Kya batana hai aur kya nahi batana hai. Or uski wajay se lot of grapevine gets created in an organization. Perceptions get created in an organization which are not good for any organization in, in the sense that it needs growth. So uh, we always recommend that there's, there should be uh, constant town halls, that is a collective meeting with the uh, leadership. There must be uh, emails, generic emails uh, going out, telling about, you know, ap khusar -khusar mat kariye, you hear it from the horse's mouth. You know, that is the culture that an organization must promote and uske liye bhi process well-designed works. So that's it, friends. Uh, so I leave, I, that's, the, that's from my side. Now I'm open for question and answer. Yeah. Or any comment. Was it helpful or you all knew about it? Whatever. Do let me. Yes, Dr. Trilochan. Please. Yeah. Very good uh, uh, evening uh, to all of you. Uh, am I audible? Yes, very much, sir. Okay. Uh, it's an excellent session, actually. Uh, it has given a new experience uh, to me also. Thank you, sir. Actually, uh, regarding me, I am uh, holding a position uh, director of one MBA college. Okay. Uh, okay. I am not going to talk about uh, regarding my college and all, but uh, apart from that, I just developed one app, online app, mm -hmm. 
that is called my success academy app okay in that app uh, that uh, in that app uh, we are just going to sell some of the courses some of the online courses like uh, uh, master class on resume master class on interview process and all mm -hmm. and uh, suppose uh, workshop on spoken english and all mm -hmm. so now it is just started and it is uh, one of the best app in odisha now in my state wow, wow. Uh, approximately uh, 2000 students are there in my app and uh, any of uh, people are there <clears throat> just it is uh, only 7 month old my app one of the question is that i because uh, it is very interesting to know about because uh, my process is something manual today it is opening my eyes that i should make it process and it should be in a good process and all because i don't get the time because in office so many times i consuming here so definitely it is a very eye opening uh, session so i'll take uh, some of the personal help from you ma'am sure to make uh, it, it should be process oriented and uh, thank you very much uh, very nice sir thank you and we'll be thank glad to help much. you sir in any which ways absolutely okay <laughs> thank you very much because, because in this process i also realized that it should be process oriented oh. though because what i am going to do the business it is completely Can personal uh, link and all ah uh, chapan sir Yeah. Okay. So uh, the only thing which I thought I, I can share with you at this stage is that your product is the app, but to manage that app, you must be having some people. If you don't, then if you tomorrow would like to have, that is the time that you need to have. You know, some thoughts. If you are going to manage it on your own, even then you will need to uh, ensure that your time is uh, you know least sucked up by transactional work, etc. so at any given point of time when you're going to add people in your yeah yeah uh, business you will need to have a process yeah yeah it should be i i feel that yeah. it is required because if, if even if you take one person you train the person that person leaves the second one comes you will have to start from scratch isn't it so it is better that you define something you have it written down and give that document and ask the person to follow so at least that much of time you save isn't it yeah yeah thank you thank good you evening, very ma much thank you good evening very good evening good evening sir i am really grateful to you for uh, elaborate speech and uh, enlightening our all this uh, difficulties thank you mr sir uh, i am also owner of an organization and uh, we do find so much of difficulties in getting the reports timely reports and feedback also 